I just shot a giant buck. He looked like a good deer. He looked like a really good deer. Well, good morning, guys. We are with Big Kansas Whitetails on the Remington 360 buck hammer hunt. This is a hunt that I've been looking forward to for a very, very, actually since I got the invite from Remington. I've never shot a buck, ever. I've shot two deer, one this year, and one like 10, 12 years ago. So we're heading out this morning. It's opening day of rifle season here in Kansas. And uh, we're gonna try and go shoot us a big old buck. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I don't get the opportunity to go deer hunting all that much. This year has been a little bit different since I actually made the time to do it, but years past I spend most of my time duck hunting because it's kind of my job. But this trip came up and I'm pretty excited to take advantage of it and get to go deer hunting and go shoot a nice buck. We're gonna roll out, go to the stand, we're gonna sit in a box blind, and we're gonna set up in a pretty high traffic area is what they were saying. So. I don't know a whole lot about this stuff. I know we're going to go find a deer and we're going to put the crosshairs on a deer and we're going to pull the trigger. That's about all I know at this point. Um, you're taking a duck hunter deer hunting. So uh, that's that's kind of the plan for today. Big shout out to Big Kansas Whitetails for hosting this with uh, all the writers and everybody else who was joining us for this week. Um, but yeah, today's opening day of rifle season. I'm pretty pumped and I think it's gonna be good. So stay tuned guys. opportunity there. I decided to pass because there's probably some better deer than that one but um, he was like regular on one side and really funky on the other. I thought about it. I thought about pulling the trigger but I knew if I just wait another opportunity will come along and be a good one. But today, if you guys can hear me, we're shooting this. Brand new load from Remington 360 buck hammer straight wall cartridge for all you uh, straight wall states out there. So that's what we're shooting today. Kansas whitetail. So it is. It's been a little bit since that deer came by, but it's about 7:45, so it's only been an hour, and I've seen about five deer. So fingers crossed. Hopefully something else will come along and. We could punch this tag this morning, that'd be awesome, but we got like five, six days to make it happen, so I'm not in uh, a big hurry to shoot anything, but if something comes by that I'm happy with, it's it's getting a dirt nap, as people would say. Um, so yeah, we're going to just stay in our little box and see if something else comes by. This trip, we had some great partners putting this whole thing together. Um, kind of the star of the show is Remington's new cartridge, 360 buck hammer, which is what I shot my deer with. And uh, it's been putting some deer down on the ground. We've had uh, seven quality deer so far this week. And uh, it's been good to be able to just get out and recover them and 
just be, be involved in the process of seeing other people harvesting some deer. But uh, the rifle is the H09X from Henry, chambered in 360 Buckhammer. And we've got the Banish 40 on the suppressor here from Silencer Central, and then a Trigicon Optic. So um, that's, that was the setup for my deer right here. 360 Buckhammer, the Henry, with the Trigicon uh, Silencer Central uh, suppressor on there. This was my first time hunting with the suppressor, and it was. <laughs> It was kind of a, a cool experience. Recoil was a lot less and no ears ringing after that gunshot. So that was, that was a big, big winner for me. So I, I would definitely hunt with a can again. My name is Micah Collins, owner and operator of Big Kansas Whitetail. First week of Kansas rifle season this year, 2023, November 29th was the opener. We had um, Remington, Henry, and Silencer Central in camp this week. And uh, we had a lot of great deer hit the ground. It's been a, it's kind of tail end of the rut, but we've had a very good hunt. Uh, everybody's seen a lot of deer, and uh, Josh Peck was able to harvest uh, his first buck, first Kansas buck, and it was a, a stud. I mean, a stud. Just back flipped. Oh my gosh. I just shot a giant buck. Holy shit. Holy crap. The deer was a monster. It is seven o'clock. Just smoked a freaking monster buck. My first buck, my first buck ever. I shot a doe earlier this year and then I shot a doe like 10-ish years ago. I gotta wait. I, I, he got smoked. Like just, oh my gosh. That's so cool. He looked like a good deer. He looked like a really good deer. If you guys are enjoying the deer content this year, let me know. Um, I'm kind of wanting to get into it a little bit. Just something different. Waterfowl is great and all, but man, it's nice to have a little change of scenery here and there. So, shot a Missouri deer and now I just punched my first Kansas buck tag. Wow. All right. We gotta wait a little bit. Make a make sure he's good and dead just laying right there but man i i can't wait to put my hands on some freaking antlers man this is gonna be so cool holy crap that happened so fast i had a i had a buck sitting basically where that one was from when i could barely see anything up until uh, probably 20 minutes after legal um 
and it just cruised on off with the rest of them, I thought, anyways. But maybe it came back for more food. That's a patch of persimmons right there. But, yeah, had some does come from that way. The buck kind of met them, and then they all headed that way. But maybe the buck didn't go all the way. I, I don't know. That's a good deer. Looked like a good deer. I saw a lot of antlers. So, I mean, any buck is a good starter buck, but I think that's gonna be freaking dandy. I can't wait. I cannot wait to go put my hands on that deer. 360 buck hammer's no freaking joke. Oh my gosh. Dude, take a look at him from this side. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Is that the big eight you call him? It's a big eight. Like a little big mature right eight. Wow. He carries his mass all the way through. A six year old deer. A little broke off on the brow tine, too. Yeah. There's a boss around here. Was. I don't know what to say to the camera at this point. Because <laughs> it's like tell the story. Tell how it happened. Well, they know how it happened. They okay. saw it all go down. I think. <laughs> well, I guess this. I mean, this morning, I, I don't know if it was this deer, or I honestly, I think it was a smaller deer that was in this, like right here, eating persimmons, left with those does. But then I just turned around, and looked. There was another one. Twenty minutes later. He's All I saw was antlers and body. Yeah. I said, that's a shooter. Because <laughs> I didn't want to waste my time because <laughs> that chair was a little squeaky in that shoot house. Uh -huh. And uh, I was like, it's, it's get the camera on, put the scope on it, and uh, find a pretty good shot at it. say he was standing right here. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I need a rest for a minute. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a big old buck. It's a dirty pointer. <laughs> <laughs> those turned out good. Look at those. Oh, yeah, that sun in the back. Yeah. Golly, it's so you, tall. I want you to send me those two because those turned out really good. Two, two fingers. Two fingers. Dude, you're killing me, man. <laughs> Hold him up. He's getting weak. Whoa. I can't. He's too big. Do you see the pain on my face yet? Yeah. I'm so oh good. my gosh. <laughs> Here, let's uh. What? Think about this. <laughs> well, this is how we do it. You got a raw dog. Ready? It's up there. Nope. See that bitch? I want to see where the bullet is. Let's see the other side. The deer that Josh was able to harvest was a deer that we've been seeing on camera for quite some time, all the way through growing season, last year as well. Um, he was a, about a six year old deer, you know. Um, he's seen it all, he's been avoiding all these hunters. There's more of a, uh, a thrill behind of watching a deer grow. You know, all the management of seeing these deer um, grow their velvet from mineral to the green grass starting and they're starting to eat the palatable food sources off of trees and shrubs and all that stuff. And um, you learn their patterns, their food patterns, their travel patterns. Very cool experience to watch something grow and then be able to have somebody come out and harvest that animal. Um, I get just as excited in the shakes and a buck fever as the hunter behind the trigger when I get to see them experience it. And um, I get to lay my hands on every single one of them, you know. If, it, if I was pulling the trigger, I'm only going to get to lay my hands on one. So what, that's really neat for me to be able to see every deer that gets harvested and lay my hands on them and congratulate them and, you know, it's. Um, very fun experience for us. That deer was a deer that we, we really paid attention to. Uh, we knew he was going to be a kind of a bully in those woods. 
And uh, I was watching him and setting up our stands preseason and our box blinds for rifle hunters. We knew we had to, had to be in some areas for him. Um, you know, that day that Josh was able to harvest them, we were kind of seeing some activity over there. We're fortunate to have some persimmons still on the tree. And, uh, man, I mean, I tell you what, those deer with persimmons, they cannot stay away. But what is what is really cool is the those persimmons you can have a corn pile there, and those deer are gonna go hit those persimmons under that corn, and uh, that's why he was there. You know, he wasn't trailing the doe; he was still ruddy. You could smell the rut in him, and uh, but he was he couldn't resist. You know, he he probably heard some persimmons fall from a couple hundred yards away, and he had to come check them out. We had a good feeling after we saw um, trail camera pictures of him that evening and early that morning and uh, we knew Josh was going to slide into that box and, uh, and he, he was fortunate to have an opportunity. You know, I think Josh also saw another deer in there right before daylight <clears throat> and he uh, wasn't able to get a shot off, which, you know, I'm excited he didn't because he got to kill one of the oldest deer that we have on camera this year that is making this a, a very unique deer and a very unique hunt. Um, and the minute that deer was harvested out of there, we had three more mature bucks move in. So you knew that that was his area. He was running his territory, we took him out of the herd, and those other bucks realized, hey, he's gone, and we're gonna, we're gonna move in, and, we're, and there's gonna be a new boss in town. Well, here is the big eight. Haven't quite got, come up with a name for him yet, but he's going on the wall, getting the shoulder mount done, and I'm pretty pumped up about this deer. It's, uh, it's, I don't know if I'll ever get one like this for a very long time, but just cool experience, great amenities here, big Kansas whitetails, and um, just big shout out to everybody that was involved with this whole thing. So just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this, but this has been truly like a once in a lifetime or, you know, just, just a very, very, very good trip. And uh, it's one I'll remember for a long time. Great deer. A lot of good deer. We had a 171 go down yesterday, so um, yeah, I just there's I just don't have words to describe this experience this week. It's just been incredible, and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and make sure to smash the like. Let's blow this video up. I mean, quality first buck right here. Um, I can't wait to see this thing on the wall. But that's gonna do it for today. If you guys wanna keep watching some hunts, click this video right here and uh, make sure to tune in for future hunts and stay subscribed. I'll catch you guys on the next one.